Meghan Markle and Prince Harry lack sensitivity when talking about the pandemic. These past several months, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry have been giving talks about various subjects. During meetings with non-profit organizations and influential people, Meghan and Harry have discussed issues like the upcoming U.S. election, hashtag Black Lives Matter, and women's empowerment. Additionally, they have also spoken about the current coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic. However, a critic is now saying Meghan and Harry should showcase more sensitivity when discussing this topic. What has Meghan Markle and Prince Harry said about the pandemic? Meghan and Harry have used the pandemic as a backdrop to highlight the work of non-profits in the US and the UK that are helping the less fortunate. For example, in June the couple expressed heartfelt thanks to several organizations and noted the pandemic has been a scary and testing time for so many people from all walks of life. However, Meghan and Harry have also shared how the pandemic affects their own lives. In a recent talk with Malala Yousafzai for International Day of the Girl, the couple revealed the pandemic has allowed them to spend time at home with their son Archie and witnessing his first steps, first run, first fall, first everything. It's just fantastic because I think in so many ways we were fortunate to be able to have this time to watch him grow and in the absence of COVID we would be traveling and working more externally and we'd miss a lot of those moments, Meghan said. A critic thinks the Sussexes have shown a lack of sensitivity when discussing COVID-19. Not everyone is happy about the way Meghan and Harry describe their lives during the pandemic. Journalist Celia Walden believes Meghan and Harry displayed a lack of sensitivity and apathy to the plight of others in their International Day of the Girl talk about COVID-19. Not only will Markle's own in-laws be unable to enjoy really good family time for some months, hold up as the Queen and Prince Philip are in their HMS bubble, but thousands of ordinary people will also have been devastated by COVID in a similar way and with no silver lining to be found, Walden wrote for The Telegraph. Additionally, Walden criticized Meghan's appearance on the podcast Teenager Therapy, which brought her on to talk about the mental health of teens during the pandemic. Walden noted that Meghan went on about her struggles with the media and being a new mom, including how she was allegedly the most trolled person in the entire world in 2019. Walden mused, One imagines the teens watching their precious time draining away. All those notes made on the key issues to highlight during the podcast, the epidemic of depression and suicide among teens, wasted. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry also represent the COVID divide between the rich and the poor. Waldman also believes the term COVID divide illustrates Harry and Meghan's recent behavior. It is a phrase some people have used to describe the differences between the pandemic experiences of the privileged, wealthy people versus the disadvantaged poorer ones. The pandemic has divided us emotionally, physically, financially and politically, Walden said. And given how different all of our experiences have been over the past six months, it's easy to slip up and be insensitive. But for celebrity figures like Meghan and Harry, who live in a bubble at the best of times, those risks are twofold. Walden added, so if they are going to weigh in, it needs to be done cautiously, altruistically, and with empathy. The ability to understand and share the feelings of another.